Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. Today we are going to make sourdough blueberry bagels. The first thing you'll want to do is to puree your blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen, thaw them out if they're frozen, and add water. It's in the recipe how much you need to add. This essentially is going to be the liquid for our, our bagel dough. So you're gonna use a pint or 275 grams of blueberries and about 80 grams of water. To that, you are going to add your sourdough starter. I fed my sourdough starter so it's nice and active and bubbly. You will add salt and also some honey. I like to mix that up with a spatula just to kind of get it started and all the liquid just evenly distributed before I add the flour. I am using all-purpose flour, but you can use bread flour. If you want to use like a whole wheat flour, you can just know that you'll have to add more liquid and the bagels will be very dense. So uh, I, I like to get this dough started with the spatula because the dough is pretty stiff. Then just get in there with your hands and all you're doing is trying to, to bring the, the dry bits together. If the dough looks really, really, really dry, you can add a tablespoon of water. Just don't add too much. You don't want it to be too wet. Just add a little bit of time until you get all of that flour to kind of stick to the dough ball. Cover it up and let it rest for an hour. That's gonna allow the flour to absorb all that liquid and then you're gonna knead it. I like to use a stand mixer for this, but you can do it by hand. You just wanna knead it um, for about, about eight minutes or so. And this is just going to help that gluten develop. Just a really easy way to do this step. Once it is done, you are gonna to wanna to let this double, this dough double in size. So, I just cover this bowl up and let it rise on the counter overnight or if I mix it in the morning just let it rise during the day and then you go to shape it. So turn the dough out onto a, a floured work surface and you can see this dough is bright purple. That is because I used frozen blueberries. I know you saw fresh blueberries in the video, but I actually made two different batches, one with fresh and one with frozen. And so when I went to film this part, you can see it's very, very dark um, purple. Now you're going to divide it into eight different pieces and they weigh about 120 grams each. To shape a bagel, you just pull the sides up into the middle and then turn it over and use your hands to gently shape it into a ball. Then take your thumb, poke it straight into the middle, and then I like to use my two pointer fingers to stretch the dough. And it's gonna look like you've stretched it a lot. You need to do that. So you, let's do this again. Just stretch the dough into the middle of itself, all the way around, flip it over, make a tight little ball, stick your thumb in the middle, and then stretch the dough out using your two pointer fingers on your hand. It's really easy. Now you're gonna to wanna to put this on a sheet of parchment paper and cover it and let it rise for about an hour. And then you're gonna bring a pot of water to a boil. There's no need to add sugar or anything because these bagels are gonna brown up in the oven very nicely. Now. I like to take that parchment paper and cut little squares because I get a lot of people tell me that the bagels stick to the parchment paper. But as you are putting these and dropping these into the water, the parchment paper will just peel right off after they've been in there for about 30 seconds or so, making it really easy. So you wanna boil these for two minutes on each side and then place them onto either a silicone baking mat that's on a part um, that's on a baking sheet or you can use more parchment paper. But you can fit about four bagels into this size pot. This is like a five quart Dutch oven that I use for baking bread. If you don't have a Dutch oven, I highly recommend one. You don't have to spend a lot of money 
on a fancy Dutch oven. So you're gonna bake these in a preheated 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for uh, 25 minutes. And you can see they are very, very dark on the outside, but they are not burnt. That is just that purple from the frozen blueberries that has baked mixed with the browning of the bagels. So you'll see that when I cut this open, it is just bright blue. And I'm telling you, the flavor of these bagels are so good. You are going to absolutely love them. I should have toasted this one. I didn't, but you know, it was still delicious with cream cheese. Store these in the uh, freezer long-term. You can freeze them for up to three months or just put them in a plastic bag or bread bag, put them out on your counter for a few days and they're wonderful. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe and make sure to stay tuned for the next one. Bye.